Hey there, it's Ali. Happy Saturday morning. I just wanted to jump on and do a quick vlog about when filler doesn't settle right and it actually settles in lumps. Uh, this is the first time in nine years that I've ever had some issues and I'm going to show you what they look like. Uh, I have a little lump right here. Bit my lip last night, but that's a little lump right there. And then oh, you can see because I have Carmex on. I have Kahalant right here and a couple lumps right here. So as I said, this is the first time in two, yeah, like 10 years that I've ever had it not settle right. So no need to freak out. I'm just going to go today and they're going to inject those little lumps with a chemical called uh, or an enzyme called Vitrace and it will just spot dissolve those areas and then I can go back in a week and see if I need to add some more filler. So sometimes things don't go perfect. It's not, you know, very common, but it can happen. Um, so I'm going to go back and get that enzyme put in and I'll keep you guys posted. So what to do when lips don't settle right or when filler doesn't settle right. If you choose the right filler, you can get it dissolved. Yay. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye. Hey there, I am back. I just got out of the office and I'm a little swollen right now and they injected a product called Hylorex. I believe that's right. It's hard for me to think right now because it burned so bad in my lump areas that I am literally nauseous right now. So I'm just sitting in the car, taking a deep breath. I've got the air on, just trying to gather myself before I drive. Um, so once again, things were not perfect, um, but it's good that things can be resolved and improved and dissolved. So this enzyme is going to dissolve the lumps over the next seven to 10 days. Um, it'll look a little bit better every day and then I can go back at day 10 and uh, start fresh. So that's what's happening, but I gotta tell you, ouch, for sure. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys have a great day.